with the kick. Ford had read what was on his mind, and now Ford going, tiptoeing up the line. No foul play on Ford, he just slips at that That looks bad for Ford, inside of his ankle. This will be a huge loss for Leicester if he has to go off, and it looks like he is. Dealing with injuries, um, this is my first long-term one, so it's quite a new experience for me, really, but um, probably the mindset I've tried to have with it is, is to not think I'm injured, and I know that sounds a bit of a silly thing to say, but it's just to think of it as an opportunity. I've been lucky enough up until this point to not have a long-term injury, so um, that's like 12 years without an extended break, I suppose. So just to try and use this time um, to refresh physically, mentally, um, work on parts of my body, parts of my game, that hopefully when I do come back, I'll be in a better place and hopefully a better player from it. So um, that's the way I've tried to deal with it. Of course, like throughout the process, there's been difficult times where you think uh, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but um, for me, it's just been about the opportunity and using, maximising that time as much as possible. And that's really helped me through the process. Obviously, I can't wait to play my first game for sale. When you go to a new club, it's not ideal being injured because you want to be out there on the field and um, helping everyone, helping the boys out, helping the club out in any way, shape or form um, to represent your new club. So I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, in the back of your mind when you're injured, you, you constantly think about that day and uh, whenever may that, that may be. But that's what you do it for. That's why you work hard to get back fit, to, to go and uh, experience things like that. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Moving from Leicester, going back up to Manchester to play for Sale, um, it's been brilliant to be honest with you. Um, it's where my family are, it's where I grew up. Um, ever since uh, being 16, 17, I've lived away playing rugby and I've never really had the opportunity to represent or play rugby from where I'm from. So um, I'm hugely excited about that. Um, it's a great group of lads, it's a good club and I get to go home to my family every night as well, so I'm really enjoying it. The rugby union in the North West, um, there's just massive potential there um, and I've realised going, since going back up there the, um, the interest in the game and the catchment area and how, how many kids want to play the game up there in the local rugby clubs in the community, um, even on game day at Sale, now we're playing well and winning, the amount of kids and families you see turning up to the games and really enjoying it, so it means a lot, obviously it's, you always come competing with the football and the rugby league, but um, I definitely think it's going in the right direction and hopefully it can continue to grow. I think what makes Rugby Union different, especially in the North West, um, is just the, the values of the sport Rugby Union. So in terms of like teamwork, uh, creating mates, friends, memories, I don't think there's any other sport like it. There's such a togetherness about um, playing rugby and playing in a rugby team. Um, it's never about the individual, it's always about the team, the team always comes first and I think that's a great value um, or something that can be learned, it's especially young kids coming through, um, that will also benefit them in other things in life away from rugby as well. Um, so I think the opportunity for that, for the kids to learn and develop in that way. Uh, and also I think just like I mentioned earlier, the potential of uh, rugby union in the North West, I just think it's scratching the surface at the minute, so I think it can become, become so much bigger. Um, and better, more kids playing it, more kids coming through, more kids representing sale, hopefully will be the best thing for the club.